another classic from Black Star Riders. This is called Bullet Blues. And it's one of the more kind of unorthodox songs that they do. And it's really got some great licks in it and typical great chording structure and lyrics. So uh, we're tuned down to E flat for this. So we'll go over the intro, which is real. This intro is, is, is throughout the song. They do this with the leads. I'm not going to go through the specific leads. I didn't figure them all out because there's just a ton of just jamming in this. And it's in the key of F sharp, so um, you'd be able to play F sharp minor uh, scale or pentatonics with it to, to play your own solos. So we'll go through the rhythm of it and the structure. The song starts out with just a slide down the sixth string, and then you're going to get to the F sharp and you're going to hit that three times. And then you're going to come and hit on the first and second string at the fifth fret. Then you'll do your F sharp three more times. And then you'll go from five to four on those bottom two strings. Then we'll do the fifth fret just one more time. Now what we're going to do is our F sharp again three times. And we're going to slide from an A power chord, basically catching the first and second and a little bit of the third, up to the uh, B, so fourth fret. So all together slowly. One, two, three, four. whole thing will repeat one more time all right so that that structure again is what they do during the lead breaks they'll go through it six times there uh, there'll be another set of solos they'll do it four times and then um, they'll go out with it so all the time you'll be jamming um, leads in between so because there's two guitars I'm going to show you both parts and how they uh, We'll break it down into what they're doing. So the rhythm chords are F sharp, A, E, and then a B to A. The B to A is like a, a quarter measure, all right? So we're going to come in from that slide, then right into your F sharp. And he's only, he's letting these strings ring. So let this song breathe. Uh, just, just hit the chord, let it sound, stop it and then go to your next chord. So you should do this. So they do that three times with the B to A. The fourth time, what we're going to do is go from our B, we'll go up to a C sharp and a D. All right, this is kind of taking you into the chorus and uh, the licks of the chorus. It's kind of a bridge, all right? So we'll take it from the, uh, we've gone through three of the, uh, and we'll go from the B to A onto the fourth one. <laughs> C sharp is pretty quick, right to your D, to B, and you'll hold that, and then you go C to D again. Back to B, and you're going to do three hits of E power chord. Alright, and that takes you into the chorus. The rhythm for the chorus is F sharp, G sharp power chords, A, then C sharp, and back to uh, B, and then our E three times. All right, so it'll sound like this. And what I'm going to do is lift off my uh, ring and um, middle finger of these chords just to sound in tune with the guitar.
with a second guitar that's playing some notes, so it'll sound like this. <laughs> That's the chorus. I'll do that three times. Now, the guitar underneath it is playing this. What's he doing there? What he does is he's going to slide in about from two or maybe the third fret of the fourth string and come back to two and back to four and then we'll slide to six. So we have this. Then we'll go back to four and six and slide to five. Then we come back, we'll hit uh, six to four. And then four to two, and then four on the fifth string, and then to our B chord. So together slowly, one, two, three, four. Alright, that's what the other guitar is doing underneath, and it, it's a great complement to the chords. Um, Man, these guys really pull out some beautiful stuff. So he'll do that three times, and then after the last three hits of the E power chord, he'll do this. Alright, so what we're doing there is we're going to be start on the fourth string, we'll go two to four, and then on the third string, two to four. And then we're going to move positions, get your middle finger at the 6th fret, and we'll go 6-4 on the 3rd string, and then 7-4 on the 5th, 7, I'm sorry, 4, 7-4 on the 5th, 7 on the 6th, and then back into the uh, verse with a G sharp, alright, so it'll sound like this, 1, 2, 3, 4. idea of how they come back into it. Um, the other thing I want to touch on is when they're doing the intro for the leads. Then you'll hear him come back. They'll do it six times after the first uh, chorus. The, after the sixth time, he, comes, he brings the song back around to the verse by doing those notes. If you're more comfortable, you can come back to the B here. Okay, but I'm pretty sure he's hitting that sixth string and then going to the uh, F G sharp. So uh, listen to it, play along, and whatever feels good to you is right, okay? You know, the, the idea is we're playing along with these guys and, and really enjoying their music. Leads, if you want to come up to the uh, 14th position, and play along. You know, do all kinds of licks. And Get you in the feel of it. Use a wah wah. They even throw in um, 
it sounds like a phaser or or it could even be um, oh Christ what's the flanger so that's the solos but again they'll be doing the intro during the solos <laughs> you the song that's really the whole structure of the song so there's a lot to this uh, not so much there's a lot of this um, repeating if you will and a lot of jamming in this song so um, I hope it helps everybody it's it's really a fun song to play and um, cool to uh, learn these guys really uh, have a great way of structuring songs so I hope you enjoy